Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how we can create a WhatsApp AI agent bot using N810. So what we will do here, we will use WhatsApp uh, Business Cloud API and also we will be using OpenAI model to respond back to our messages and we can send it to, uh, to the WhatsApp. So it's very simple and we will just make it in few minutes. So let's follow me and let's jump into the screen and so we can get started. So when you will be on the dashboard, you have to click on create a workflow. In here you have to select WhatsApp uh, business cloud API that we are going to use. So we have to get a message. So on message trigger, we have to select and then we have to create a new credentials. We need a client ID and the client secret. For this, we need to go to the business.business.facebook.com and here we need a make sure you have a business portfolio. You have to select a portfolio and then you have to click on settings. And when you are on the settings, you have to click on apps. You have to add an app, create new app ID. And on this page, it will ask you the app name. So we can give a name code with move and then go to the use case other. and then create a business as we're going to create it for the, our business for what's a business. So, and here you have to just click on create the app. Just verification, all good. And when the app will be created, we have to next go to the uh, another screen and we have to authenticate a few things. So when the app is created, so we have to click on here, set up WhatsApp. And when the WhatsApp uh, setup is done, we are going to get some, uh, you know, our keys. Like if I just show you that we need a client ID and the secret. For this, we have to go to the uh, app settings, basics. And here we can get the app ID, I have to just copy the app ID and I can paste here. And then we have to get the app secret. Okay, let's save it and test it. Okay, so it is uh, successfully connected. All good. Next, what we can do if we have to uh, test if the messages are receiving or not, we will be able to test it later. But let's uh, know what we have to do. We have to attach an API, what we say an AI agent. So select AI agent. And here we have to go to the define below option. Okay. And we will get the message which will come from our AI agent. So the message will come from WhatsApp uh, uh, sender. So that message we will use here. Okay. And next what we have to do, we have to connect the open AI model so which can uh, respond to that, that message which will come from our WhatsApp uh, uh, AI board. So let's connect it and uh, we have to, you know, create a new credentials. We need an API key from open AI. So if you have the account, uh, you can get the open AI key. So I will just go and create a test key. And I will use that key here. Okay, let's save it. That is fine. I'm going to use GPT-4. Okay, next what we have to do we need uh, another uh, node which will uh, send message response back to the the customer who was uh, sending the message to the our whatsapp ai board so let's click plus button and go whatsapp business cloud and here what we have to do we have to simply uh, send a message okay and it will be a whatsapp account okay that we have to configure here we need an access token and we need a business account ID. So uh, because this is different what we configured before. So here uh, we have to uh, go to our uh, this page where our app is. So 
what we can do go to the whatsapp and api setup so here we have to set up the whatsapp api and everything is fine so what we have to do first of all you can add your own whatsapp number a business number or you can uh, create a test number so i'm just going to use this test number and the recipient i'm going to use uh, that can be a recipient that if we have to like who will be the recipient that will be getting the message so i can add a phone number so here i have added my number where i will be uh, communicating with this number okay the message uh, from which account we have to set an example number here so i have done that so what we have to do we have to create, uh, create here the access token so it will ask for the verifications continue uh, we can go with uh, future accounts here and continue save okay got it so now we have uh, got this access token just copy this and we have to paste here and then we have to get the business account id for this we have to copy this business account id and we have to paste here let's save it so it's mean our workflow is almost uh, completely you know configurations are done and then what we have to do we have to just uh, connect some dots to test the setup and we have to connect the dots what we are going to do just let's uh, disconnect for now and disable the the nodes okay F all is okay this is offline and this is also offline so let's we have to what we have to do we have to click on execute the workflow now let's send a message hi and we can see the node executed successfully and we are getting the message response so now let's we can connect it back to our uh, this agent and we can activate it so when it's activated and we can also connect it to our ai open ai model that is fine and no let's execute it so we can see we are getting a prompt message from the user so we have to go to the message this is a message hi so we can just drag and drop this which is fine execute steps and now it will communicate with the open ai and we are getting the response back no we have to send this response back to the user so let's activate it and no let's get it uh, to the connected to the to send message back to the customer so let's know we have to as we said we we got the response from our ai agent so what we have to do we have we need a phone number from uh, to which we are uh, sender from which the message will go and the recipient for the sender uh, we have to uh, choose a number which is uh, our uh, test number which we have created here so this number and if i just simply go and i have to select the phone number uh, id that i can just simply choose and i can select the sender okay and then i have to recipient phone number i need for this from where the message come so simply we have to just uh, select the from which is fine everything is okay so and then we have a text body what should be the response the user will get the message response we get we got from the ai so this is this one output we have to drag and drop here which is good everything is fine so now let's execute the steps and we will see uh, the new message has been received on my whatsapp how can i help you okay so let's get now what we have to do uh, we will we will be going to test these things so let's do execute workflow so our workflow is now executing so let's do one thing here let's send a message hi can you help me with n e 10 so a message has been sent okay and we can see the response is now coming 
and everything is working fine and we got the response back which is amazing so our configuration our ai bot is working fine one thing is uh, when you have done that you can just uh, make sure you, you have uh, you removed your uh, key okay in case if you don't want to hit uh, you know uh, any expenses on the open ai okay so just uh, delete your key if you just for the testing purpose and uh, make sure you don't get any extra uh, charges and then also yeah this is how uh, we have quickly done and completed our uh, whatsapp ai model which is very simple and easy to create uh, let, let me know if you need any help you can ask me in the comments and how, how you perform this and you can also reach out to me on linkedin if you need any help if you want to learn how you have to build a WhatsApp AI agent using Twilio, you can watch my this video. Or if you want to learn how you can build a Telegram AI board, you can also watch my this video. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Ask me in the comments. I will be able to reply you in in maximum one hour. So I will see you in my next video. Have a good day.